There are about 82 different types of prime numbers and I'm going to explain every one of them. Primes. A prime number is a natural number that has exactly two positive divisors, one and itself. If a number is divided by anything else, it's not prime. Boom! Fibonacci prime. Start with zero and one, then to find the next term you add the previous two together. Keep going with this to get the Fibonacci sequence. A Fibonacci prime is a Fibonacci number which is prime. Duh! Lucas primes. Do the same thing as before, but this time start with two, then one. Lucas primes are Lucas numbers that are prime. Pell primes. Start with zero and one, and then to get the next number you do two times the previous one, plus the one before that. These are the Pell numbers and some of them are prime. Perrin primes. Start with 302, then the next number is the value two steps back plus the value three steps back. These are the Perrin numbers and some of them are prime. Bell prime. The nth bell number is the number of ways you can partition a set of n elements. Some of these are prime. Think of it as the number of ways you can cut up a birthday cake so that each of the slices have at least one candle. Although you wouldn't understand that because you have no friends so you eat the entire birthday cake yourself, you hippopotamus. Partition primes. The nth partition of a number is the number of ways you can write the number as a sum of positive integers where the order doesn't matter. So two gives us two ways to partition the number two, three gives us three ways, four gives us five ways, and so on. Some of these are prime. Primeval primes. These are the prime numbers where the number of ways to arrange the digits into another prime is more than all the previous numbers. For example, 13 can be arranged into 3, 13, and 31, which is a total of three primes, and more than any other previous prime number. Lucky primes. To find the sequence of lucky numbers, you start with the natural numbers. Start with two and remove every second digit. After we do this, the next number after two is three, so we remove every third digit. The next number after three is seven, so remove every seventh digit. If you keep doing this forever, you'll eventually get the lucky numbers, which look prime and act prime, but aren't. Just like primes, they're unpredictable. We don't know if there are infinitely many twin lucky numbers, and their density follows the logarithmic curve. Smaradachi well in prime. These are the primes which are the concatenation of the first n primes. So for example, we have 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, 5, 7, and then the next one after this is 355 digits long, and it's a concatenation of the first 128 primes. The Newman Shanks Williams numbers are just the Pell numbers, but starting with 1, 1 instead of 0, 1. Some of these are prime. Balanced primes. This is a prime number where the distance between the previous prime and the next prime is equal. Isolated primes. A prime number where p minus 2 is not prime and p plus 2 is also not prime. A bit like how nobody wants to be around you because you're a maths nerd and you stink of nerd sweat. Twin primes. A twin prime is the opposite of an isolated prime, so either p plus 2 or p minus 2 is prime. If you can prove that infinitely many twin primes exist, the Clay Mathematics Institute will pay you a million dollars. Cousin primes. A prime number p where p plus or minus 4 is prime. You will most likely marry your cousin. Sexy primes. A prime number p where p plus minus 6 is prime. Prime keeps us to the twin primes where another prime is separated by 4 from one of the twin primes. So for example, 5, 7 and 11. 5 and 7 are separated by 2, so they are twin primes, and the 7 and 11 are separated by 4. Prime quadruplets. These are two twin primes separated by 4. For example, 11, 13, 17 and 19. Cluster primes. This is a prime P where if you subtract 3, then every even number before it, including the prime subtract 3, is the difference between the two primes not exceeding P. The first few non-cluster primes are 2, 97, 127, 149 and 191. Pythagorean primes. Primes of the form 4 times a natural number plus 1. Residue classes of primes. A residue class of primes is a class of primes defined by the form a n plus b. Pythagorean primes are an example of a residue class where a is 4 and b is 1. But you could have 6 n plus 1 or 21 n plus 11 for example. Chen primes. A number p where p is prime and p plus 2 is either prime or semi-prime meaning a product of only two prime numbers. Sophie Germain primes. A prime P where 2P plus 1 is also prime. Safe primes. A prime P where P minus 1 all over 2 is also prime. Good primes. If P sub N is the nth prime number, then a good prime satisfies this equation. Super primes. If P sub N is the nth prime number, then a super prime is P sub N, where N is also prime. Self primes. A self number N is a number which cannot be generated by any number M added to the digit of M. 
Some of these are prime, highly cototient primes. When the greatest common divisor of two numbers is one, they are called coprime. Euler's totient function of n asks how many integers less than n are coprime to n. Then the cototient function is n minus the totient function of n, or how many integers are less than n share the common divisor greater than one. A highly cototient number is a number that appears as a cototient more times than any smaller number does. So some of these are prime. Primorial primes. A primorial prime is a prime number of the form p primorial plus minus one. Euclid primes. These are the primorial primes of the form p primorial plus one, but not minus one. Cuban primes. Primes of the form x to the three minus y to the three all over x minus y, where x equals y plus one. Quartan primes. Primes of the form x to the four plus y to the four, where x and y is greater than zero. Strong primes. A strong prime is a prime p, which is closer to the following prime than it is to the preceding prime. Palindromic primes. Primes that remain the same when their decimal digits are read backwards. Palindromic wing primes. Primes where all digits except the middle digit are equal. Circular primes. A prime number that remains prime on any cyclic rotation of its digits. Emirps. Primes that become different primes when their digits are reversed. The name emirp is the reversed word prime. Permutable primes. A prime where any permutation of its decimal digits is still a prime. Dihedral primes. Primes that remain prime when read upside down or mirrored in a seven segment display. Minimal primes. Primes for which there are no shorter subsequence of the digits that form a prime. There are exactly 26 minimal primes. Delicate primes. Primes where having any one of their digits changed to any other value will make it no longer a prime. Happy primes. Happy number is a number that eventually reaches one when you repeatedly replace the number with the sum of the squares of its digits. For example, 19 changes to one squared plus nine squared, which is 82, which changes to eight squared plus two squared, which is 68, which changes to six squared plus eight squared, which is 100, and then 100 gives us one squared plus zero squared plus zero squared, which is one. So 19 is happy. Some of these numbers are prime. Unique primes. Prime numbers where the decimal expansion of one over p has a period length which is unique to that number alone. Here are some examples. 3, 11, 37, 101, 9091, 9901, 333667, 909091, 9999001, 9999999001, 9999999000001. Truncated primes. This is a prime which remains prime when a digit is removed from either the left or the right or both. There are exactly 15 both sided truncated primes. Home primes. Start with any number n, list the prime factors, then concatenate, then repeat the last two steps until you reach a prime number. This prime number will be a home prime. Ramanujan primes. A prime r sub n is the nth Ramanujan prime if for any big number x there always exists at least n prime numbers between x over two and x. Mersenne primes. Primes of the form two to the n minus one. As of 2024, there are only 52 known Mersenne primes. Mersenne divisors. Primes that divide two n minus one for some prime number n. Mersenne prime exponents. Primes p such that two to the p minus one is prime. Double Mersenne primes. Primes of the form two to the two to the n minus one minus one. Fermat primes. Primes of the form two to the two to the n plus one. Generalized Fermat primes. Primes of the form a to the two to the n plus one for a fixed integer a. Ripponit primes. Primes containing only the digit one. For example, 11. Generalized Repinit primes. Primes of the form a to the n minus one all over a minus one for a fixed integer a. Wagstaff primes. Primes of the form two to the n plus one all over three. Woodall primes. Primes of the form n times two to the n minus one. Cullen primes. Primes of the form n times two to the n plus one. Prof primes. Primes of the form k times two to the n plus one with odd k and k is less than two n. Peer point primes. Primes of the form two to the u three to the v plus one for some integers u v greater than or equal to zero. Thabit primes. Of the form three times two to the n minus one. Leyland primes. Primes of the form x to the y, y to the x, with one is less than x is less than y. Solinas primes. Primes of the form two to the k minus c one times two to the k minus one, 
minus c2 times 2 to the k minus 2 minus dot 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 all the way down to ck. Other generalizations and variations. Many generalizations of Mersenne prime primes have been defined, primes of the form, for example, b to the n minus b minus 1 all to the n. Factorial primes. Primes of the form n factorial plus or minus 1. Pili primes. Primes p for which there exist n greater than 1 such that p divides n factorial plus 1 and n does not divide p minus 1. Higgs primes for squares. Primes p for which p minus 1 divides the square of the product of all earlier terms. Harmonic primes. Primes p for which there are no solutions h sub k is identical to 0 mod p and h sub k is identical to minus omega sub p mod p for 1 is less than or equal to k, less than or equal to p minus 2, where h sub k denotes the kth harmonic number and omega sub p denotes the Wollstone-Holm quotient. Euler irregular primes. A prime p that divides Euler number e sub 2n for some 0 is less than or equal to 2n, less than or equal to p minus 3. Euler numbers are the coefficients when you expand the secant or sech function into a series. Regular primes. Primes p that do not divide the class number of the pth cyclomatic field. A cyclomatic field is a fancy number system invented by mathematicians that doesn't actually exist. Euler irregular primes. A prime p such that p and p minus 3 is an Euler irregular pair. An Euler irregular pair is a pair of numbers where p is an odd prime and k is an even number with 2 is less than or equal to k, less than or equal to p minus 3, and p divides the Euler number e sub k. Wilson primes. Primes p for which p squared divides p minus 1 factorial plus 1. Wieferich primes. Primes p such that a to the p minus 1 is identical to 1 mod p squared for a fixed integer a greater than 1. Wollstone-Holm primes. Primes p for which the binomial coefficient 2p minus 1, p minus 1 is equal to 1 mod p to the 4. Wolfson-Sun primes. Prime p greater than 5 if p squared divides the Fibonacci number p sub p minus p over 5, where the Grande symbol p over 5 is defined as this. As of 2018, no wall sun sun primes are known. It's almost as if mathematicians have way too much free time. Non-generous primes. Primes p for which the least positive primitive root is not a primitive root of p squared. Only three of these primes are currently known. 2, 40,487, and 6, 6, 9, ha 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 ha, 2367337. Stern primes. Primes that are not the sum of a smaller prime and twice the square of a non-zero integer. This is so oddly specific that it makes me wonder why anyone even ever bothered to name this. Einstein primes without the imaginary part. Einstein integers that are irreducible and real numbers. Einstein integers are of the complex form z equals a plus b omega, where a and b are integers and omega equals minus 1 plus i root 3 over 2, which is equal to e to the i 2 pi over 3. Long primes. Primes p for which in a given case b, b to the power p minus 1 minus 1 over p gives a cyclic number, which is an integer for which cyclic permutations of the digits are successive integer multiples of the number. For example, 142857 times 1 is 142857, and then when you times it by 2, you just rotate the digits. And then if you times it by 3, you rotate it again, then by 4, rotate it again, and then by 5, rotate it again, and then by 6, you're just rotating the digits. Pretty cool. Mills primes. Primes of the form theta to the 3 to the n, where theta is Mills constant. Weirdly, this always gives a prime number. Mills constant is roughly this, 1.3063. Super singular prime. A prime p is a super singular prime if it divides the numerator of a certain Bunelieu number, and the Bunelieu number are coefficients b sub n of this equation. There are exactly 15 super singular primes. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, blah, blah, blah. Illegal primes. An illegal number is a number which represents information which is illegal to transmit in some legal jurisdiction. For example, if I travel to North Korea, create an entire hit piece on their government, and then take the entire binary string which encodes the hit piece and convert it into a base 10 number, then this base 10 number is an illegal number because it's illegal to transmit the data coded within. Some of these illegal numbers are also prime. Credit card primes. The credit card number is a 16 digit number found on the top of the credit card. Some of these numbers are prime. You can leave your credit card number along with the magic three digit security code in the comments below and I'll tell you whether or not it's prime. Join the channel to pay my rent, like, comment, subscribe and piss off.